everyone, it's grocery haul day. Today we went to Aldi's and Walmart. I'm gonna turn you around and show you what you picked up today. Here is Aldi's in the front, Walmart is in the back. I will get to Walmart in just a moment. Let's start with Aldi's. We picked up one high pulp orange juice, did not pick up any milk this week. We also picked up two pints of the heavy whipping cream. We like the Aldi's ones because it has zero grams of carbs. One large jar of peanut butter. Um, let's go ahead and cover that. I've been looking for a lightweight hoodie. Sometimes I try the colors of Aldi, sometimes I don't. I always also buy a size up. I wear a large usually in shirts and hoodies. And I find that Aldi's, I usually want to do like a size up on those. So I don't know, I just want to try it because I wanted like a lightweight pullover hoodie to be able to use. So I picked this one up to try today. I actually don't even remember how much it is. Lemon blueberry granola, two bags of the dried apricots, two boxes of the dark chocolate peanut butter protein bars, one jar of um, hamburger style pickles. Those are gonna be for subs this week. We also picked up one jar of chicken noodle soup for me from the next time that we do grilled cheese. Everybody else does tomato, but I'm allergic, so I pick up one can for myself for those nights. Sarah loves anything that's Asian food, so she wanted to try the rice pudding this week. I know it says Spanish on it, but um, I don't know. She just, she wanted to pick up one of those. Um, we also picked up one thing of the mustard potato salad, two blocks of extra sharp cheddar cheese, one box of unsalted butter sticks. There's four sticks per box. And everybody got to pick, or the girls got to pick their own yogurts this week. I picked Matt's for him. Um, one of them picked the black cherry on the bottom. One picked the light vanilla. And another one picked the strawberry and banana. One container of sour cream. All these only sells their sour cream in. I'm pretty sure 16 ounces. Yes, one pound containers. Matt and I, for our sour, for our sour cream, yeah, we're going to eat sour cream for breakfast. <laughs> Matt and I for breakfast are going to have the yogurt tilts. We this time I just made it easy. Picked the two that they had at the front, and the two at the front were the key lime crunch. We also picked up brioche buns. We're going to do subs this week for a dinner meal for an easy dinner as it gets warmer. We also picked out some turkey breast deli meat again for the subs. Let's work over to the rest of the table. I was going to say to the one specific thing, but it's not. We picked up some of the red grapes. It was a small bag, but again, we're going to be in and out this week. So pick up a small bag. One bag of the Italian style cheese. One bag of the reduced fat sharp cheddar. Two bags of the bacon Caesar chopped salad kits. We do uh, salad kits that have a protein source in them so that Matt can have a protein source while he is at work for lunch. And we all do salad. For lunch one day a week we also picked up two bags of the steam california medley these are really good i prefer all these vegetables over any other like store brand or anything like that of vegetables love these love 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 these also they seem to be bigger um we're trying something new this week one of mine's having a birthday this week and she wanted asian food at home so we're gonna try their chicken lo mein frozen bags um, I'll skip this for just a second. I promise I'll come back. We're also going to try their chicken egg rolls and their pork egg rolls and see if we like them or not. We also picked up one bag of the Buffalo style chicken strips. Now that we have an air fryer, I'm trying out some of the different brands and see which ones I like in the air fryer and which ones I don't. We also picked up some more of the honey butter chicken tenders. I know we like these. These are really good and they turn out really well in our air fryer. We also picked up one slice medium cheddar, one slice pepper jack, again for subs this week. The two pizzas we chose were two of the specialty ones that they have in the middle section. This is the smokehouse pizza with barbecue sauce, uncured Canadian bacon, Italian sausage, uncured bacon, red onions, mozzarella, and cheddar cheeses. It just looked really, really super good and we like that. So we're gonna give it a try. We're also gonna try, a, turn it the wrong way. <laughs> we're also gonna try this broccoli cheddar, cheddar Bianco pizza. After we watched Inside Out for the first time, we actually made a pizza for one of mine that had a birthday party that was Inside Out themed and actually put steamed broccoli on top of a really, really cheesy six cheese pizza. I liked it, Bales was so-so. This is not that, it looks like it because it has the uh, green mixed in with it. The crust is broccoli. The rest of it is supposed to be like a normal cheese pizza and everybody was willing to try it. Well, the ones that were with me. Matt was at work, it's gonna be a surprise for him. Surprise pizza, we also have Two boxes of the mini corn dogs, because again, in and out this week. I wanted some easy frozen meals for like if we end up being at home for a meal and we weren't planning on it. That's why I like buying frozen meals. I usually prefer to make everything fresh, fresh, but again, if I know that it's gonna be an in and out week, I will buy some frozen stuff mixed in with the fresh stuff and kind of try to balance it out. We are gonna be doing a thing soon where I needed to pick up gluten-free donuts for some friends and I know there's a gluten-free donut place somewhere in the greater Knoxville area, but I don't know where it is. Like I know it exists. I don't know what it's called, where it is. 
So we saw these though and figured it would be easier to just go ahead and get these. And then if we find the other gluten-free place, cool. If not, we have a backup plan. So we're gonna try these out and see if we like them. Let's move on to Walmart because I need to get this in the freezer. This is a 12 pack of their vanilla sandwiches. I ate these as kids on special special days, like on Fridays and stuff like we do with our pizzas normally. So that's what I wanted. <laughs> it's right after Mother's Day. And we ended up not having anything chocolate on Mother's Day. So I kind of justified getting them. Moving on, <laughs> we ended up getting two Diet Dr. Peppers, two Coke Zeros. We also picked up, I know I kind of, kind of got this not evenly spaced out, two boxes of the Slim Jims. These have actually gone up, so I'm going to compare and see if Amazon is cheaper on these. I know Amazon ships this exact same box, like the 46 count. I love it because it has this easy turn, and then it kind of just folds open. Kind of like, um, I don't know, like a can't, you know, commissary style, just grab and go as you need. But these are for whenever I don't have a protein source for Matt's breakfast and I send him like just fruit salad or dried fruit or something, this is what I send to go with them. And uh, he also used them as snacks. So we like buying them in bulk. I will say that these are tiny. These are so tiny, but it works for what he needs them to work for. Also, Walmart's the cheapest place to buy home raw chili, and Matt specifically, whenever he's eating them on hot dogs, prefers no bean. So we picked up two cans. Like, this is not one meal, two cans, because if it was one meal, they do sell bulk of these in Walmart, but like one of these cans does this for one dinner when we're doing hot dogs. So I bought two cans so that as it gets warmer, if we want to pick up hot dogs for a quick meal, we already have the chili. This is the non-food item. Actually, there's another non-food item for all these. Huh. Just now I remember that I had a bag missing from Aldi's. It was just these two things in them. Every time we go, I pick these up for our diffuser. Our ear nose cert doctor recommends a cool mist humidifier or diffuser. Whenever the humidity level drops, it keeps everybody from being as congested. So I wanted to try the citronella because as it gets warmer, mosquitoes here in the south, I hate them. And I just wanted to try it to see if maybe, I don't know, like we normally don't have a mosquito problem inside our house, but I just wanted to try it. I wanted to try it and see if like maybe diffusing in the house before everybody goes out will kind of help i don't know there's citronella and then i also wanted lemongrass just because lemongrass smells really good so again here are the two from walmart i hate this like that like i wanted the wrapper to be turned this way but it's not um i've never tried okay so we do no show socks you've seen us haul no show socks before with clothing from walmart i've never seen athletic no show socks the really cool thing about this is like the no show socks for like dress shoes has a single silicone padded piece on the heel this one has like a wavy pattern of three different lines on there that's supposed to be guaranteed for when you wear slip on athletic shoes or just tennis shoes that they're not supposed to slip off the girls just want to try them because one of them as you saw in our last shoe carnival haul ended up with a black pair of tennis shoes because that was what was in her size and style that she wanted with the memory foam and all that so she needed some darker socks to go with it so the ones that have the darker tennis shoes are actually going to split these up and have the grays and blacks to go with their tennis shoes and their no-show. But these are also like what they are the no-show liner. These are now called no-show liners. Um, we call them peds when they're dress socks, but they're not peds because they're a different feel. They're not, they are very much like an athletic sock. They're not the dressy sock. These are the actual no-shows. So we're gonna try these as well. These are the definite like, what we would consider no-show socks with barely anything sticking out of them. And I just wanted to get both. That way if they absolutely hate these, they've got these. And that way they can interchange back and forth. So that's it for our really strange Aldi's and Walmart haul. Again, right now with like weeks where we're gonna be in and out a lot cause like we're just ready to be back to traveling and doing some local travel and just getting out and experiencing life with our kids. Anyway, so because of that, we've got like a mix of fresh and frozen this week and probably a lot of the way through the summer this year, but that's okay. And if we go out to eat, I will take you to places you like to see the reviews of restaurants that we go to in the greater Knoxville area, the Smokies area, and places like that. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.